welcome to a Lawn Fawn tutorial video. My name is Britta Swiderski and I am the intern with Lawn Fawn this year. And we wanted to start a new video series on the blog titled Mixing It Up with Lawn Fawn and Britta the Intern. So what we're going to be doing today is mixing up one of the new sets that was recently released called Sunny Skies with an older release set um, called Cruising Through Life. And this will just show you how to stretch your stamps and even maybe reintroduce you to some of my favorites from previous releases. So we're going to make a card from start to finish using these two cute sets together. So we're going to start out our super colorful card by stamping our designs straight onto our base cardstock. This is some um, aqua cardstock that I have. And I'm going to start out stamping my images down. This is the little kite from Sunny Skies. And I'm just stamping these so I have a guide to put my paper piece in. And so while I'm stamping these, I will also stamp them on all of my pattern paper. And these are all from the Bright Side 6x6 collection pack, also by Lawn Fawn. I'm just going to go through and stamp my whole scene out. I'm not worrying about where I want to put the grass yet. I can always add that later. This is just giving me a guide where to put my stamped images when I have them paper pieced. So I have everything stamped out now. I have all of my pieces that I want to paper piece stamped onto the bright side papers. And I also stamped from some clouds from Sunny Skies and also the sticks to go with the little pinwheels. So now I'm just going to cut all of these out with my Cutter B scissors and then go around the edges with a black marker just to make sure they look really finished off and then just piece these together and we'll be ready to put our card together. Now that I have all my pieces put together I'm ready to start putting together my card. So first I'm going to make some grass with some more paper from the same collection. This will just help keep all the colors within the same family and brightness. Um, and I'm just going to do this by sketching some lines really quickly I don't want my grass to be too outrageous or, you know, funky, but I do want it to be on the bottom of the card. So I'm just going to sketch a quick little curved line that goes across my card. And then I'll sketch another one from the other side that will just stick behind it. And this will kind of hide the other side of the card. You can just cut these out. And since the paper is wider than your card front, it'll work just perfectly. So I'm just going to cut these out, draw a little mar line around the edge so that it matches the stamping lines, and then we can hear those straight to our card. Now that we have our grass glued down, we can go ahead and start adhering everything to a card. I'm going to use a combination of foam adhesive and just regular adhesive to adhere down all of the pieces. And of course, I'm going to adhere down the sticks before I adhere down my little pinwheels, just so that they're hidden underneath the pinwheels. Now that I have my things glued down, it looks like this card is really coming together and I'm really excited about it. I think for my last couple steps here, I'm just going to add some pearls over the centers of these pinwheels, just by cutting apart these ones that I have. And I'm just going to leave them this color, I believe. And I'm just going to use some three different sizes of the pearls that I have. This medium one will be perfect for the small pinwheel. And then I'll add some pearl accents on top of my kite just to bring all the elements together and to bring that symmetry in. Now that I have my pearls on, I'm just going to go ahead and start finishing off my card. I'm going to cut off the excess of these clouds on my background and I'm going to fill in the tail of the kite with some white gel pen. I didn't want to piece all of these super tiny pieces so this will just help give the tail a little um, help as far as coloring in goes but without the extra cutting and coloring. I'll also stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use the follow your dreams from cruising through life just stamp it on this little scrap piece of paper that I have here and then leave enough room to trim little banner ends into it. Now I'll just affix my sentiment with some more foam adhesive. I'm going to kind of put it right here 
so that I can trim off the edge just like I did with the clouds. Then I'll just round the corners with my corner chomper and this is ready to adhere to my card with some more foam adhesive. And there we have it. We have a cute little card made with a brand new set as well as one, a previous release set. The Cruising Through Life and the Sunny Skies. And as you can see, these sets go wonderfully together because of the similar style and the similar theme. So you get the follow of your dreams effect with both the pinwheels and the kite, and I think it's really adorable together. So make sure you check out the Lawn Fawn blog at lawnfawn.blogspot.com for more information on this card and this new video series, and you can buy all of these stamp sets at lawnfawn.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.